jacket tater mince and onion boys. <laughs> Freaking hell. That was nice. Lovely that was. Makes a change. I was hoping it was just Friday traffic, but it doesn't seem that. Might be an accident or something. Because it is Friday! Be right, it has. Right, I'm gonna move this out of this fucking because these lads are gonna be back from the dinner soon, so it's gonna get messy around here. So let's maneuver it. I thought it was the union last week, but it's not, it's the hose, isn't it? It bloody is. I just thought, let's check where that part goes, and it goes to the tilt and the lock. Look at this lock. At least we know where the fault is. Let's whip that pipe off. When my feet had touched dry land, how happy I did feel. There's an hydraulic place around here somewhere, like a back alley type of place. You know one of them people that keeps everything? One of them, one of them walks what it like. It's like a treasure trove with stuff on shelves everywhere. It's beautiful. Well, let's go and see the hydraulic chap. Yeah, this is it. This is it. This is where he is. Look at that. Done already, look. Five minutes in there. Made it up for my out. Little family run firm. Him and his son. Fucking cushed it, mate. Hey? Now they're the kind of companies you want to work with. Trouble is, as he was saying, uh, he used to have vans running out here. Not his vans, like someone else used to subby like to like buy the materials off him and then they used to go out and do the job. They took him for 30 grand because they didn't pay the bill for three years or whatever it was. You didn't talk to her getting in that state, did you? But we all fucking do it. We're all so trusting, aren't we? Hey, eh? We are. Oh, yeah, they'll pay, they'll pay. Next thing, fucking... Uh, he says he's getting £100 a week now off them. What the fucking good's that? Dropping the ocean, isn't it? I tell you what, some people are cunts, aren't they? There's a lot of cunts out there, aren't they? Lovely bloke and all. Go out his way to help you. And his son works there. I didn't meet his son, but his son works there and all. Terrible, isn't it? Look at that, straight to it. Top map. Right. Yeah, you can soon become a cropper with helping people out, can't you? I remember I got taken for 1,200 quid once. This uh, this self-employed lad who we used to do his lorries for, he uh, ran into a bit of uh, financial difficulty. He thought because he was self-employed, he could just do whatever he likes and not work very often. He took it upon himself to just think, well, it's it, my own job, so I can do as much or less work as I can. Anyway, after a bit, he needed a clutch, he needed all this lot, and uh, I did it all, paid for the parts and all that lot. His bill got to about a grand, and he says, uh, oh, I've got another problem, Chris. I know I haven't paid your bill, but I will pay it. Don't worry, I'll pay you. I said, yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah, just pay me when you can, like. Pay, pay me when you're, on, uh, when you're on top of things. Anyway, uh, the bill got to about 1,200 quid, and then I got a letter through from his fucking solicitor saying that his business has gone fucking, gone through, gone kaput. And I tried to ring him, and you know where he was? On holiday, on a fucking cruise. Hey? And he's just took me for 1,200 quid. The cheeky bastards, honestly. Isn't it? Fucking hell. I don't know how people fucking sleep at night now. I couldn't fucking sleep at night. I really couldn't. Right, let's fit this pipe. These lads want the forklift, and I want the other forklift to see what the other leak is. Look at that. Wonderful. Oh, 
whole bunch of a leak if it is a leak, is it? We've tried pressurising it all. Learned working for a bit, innit? it? Come back to it, see whether we can see where it's leaking from. Right, we think we've found the fucking leak. But it's behind all them pipes there. <laughs> Beautiful. There, look, you see that clean bit there? I'll just disconnect that plug off it. So I'm thinking if I take that nut off there and take that off, I might have a new ring. Good, is it? Yeah, that's what it'll be, boys. That seal lot is lifted up, look there. I'll try a bit of Fred's tape on it. Christoph! What have you done? I think it's that seal oh, there, look. No, right, see how it's nicely pushed there, look, and then, ooh, it lifts up there, fucks up back down there. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Yeah. I'm going to try a bit of Fred's tape around it. With what? Fred's tape. How do you call them? Fred's, Fred's tape. Fred tape it is. Fred I call tape. it Fred's tape. You used to use the horse, horse hair before that, innit? Oh yeah? Yeah, I remember that. Oh really? Yeah, to yeah. seal stuff like yeah. yeah, I remember when I was young, my uncle was used and I was like, what was that, what was that? If you have to get by, you have to get by. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll try it. I'd call that a success until it leaks again. How I lose so many tools. Yeah, yeah, all right, all right. I know, I fucking know. Come on, let's change the air filter in this. This is the last of the 70 Scanias that I've changed the air filter on. Can you park any closer to that? I prefer it a bit closer to that and a bit closer to this lorry as well. Just so I've got no space at all. Let's go. Oh. Let's cut the battery up first. <laughs> it was touch and go, wasn't it? <laughs> this fucking thing. God, I'm sick of it. I reckon we should call the end of the working week a Friday because it sounds good. I had to get 18 because I needed to go to scenes because it's the only place that sells size four nappies and they only sell them in 18s <laughs> no i'm not going to drink them all tonight don't be silly see that's my excuse anyway oh fuck off oh, i've just fuck i've disconnected the back tray oh fucking hell Honestly, I've just connected up just now. It's fuck it. I'm gonna have to do something with this weekend. It's no good. I need to have P38 as well. Oh, stuff what I've got to do, boys. Jesus Christ. There's not enough fucking hours in the day. Huh. 